Hi folks, Jeff from Show It Here. Today we're gonna to be looking at the split sync option for Canvas backgrounds. So this is something new that we're gonna be rolling out to mobile and desktop design for all of the other elements that are going to happen between your mobile and desktop design. But we started with backgrounds to test it out and make sure everything is working great for you folks. So I wanna show you how this all works right now. So now when you select a canvas like I have here on my hero canvas and go to canvas background, by default it's automatically going to link those two things up. So you can see we have the same photos here. Um, if I want to break that out, all I have to do is come in here and click media type. And now you can see I have those two little icons again here so I can change the desktop and mobile independently. I can also change my media type to none if I just want it to be a color or video if I want to use a background video, which you can check out in our help docs if you search for Canvas background video if you need more information. So now that I have it split out, I could come over here to my mobile tab and I could choose a different image, for instance, on my mobile design. So you can see now that I have those um, set separately. And if that's how I want to keep it, then I'm all set. Now, if I decide, for instance, you know what, I really like the way that this image on mobile is looking, I think I want to add that on desktop as well. I can click media type again. And since I have the mobile tab selected, it will ask me if I want to merge using mobile. If I do that, it's going to apply the mobile canvas background to both versions of the design there. So again, all you have to do is come into the canvas background, click media type, and then you can toggle between those switches to make sure that you have them dialed in if you want to dial it in separately for mobile and desktop design. So that is the new split sync style that is coming to show it. You can always change your color down here, your fill color. Um, you can change opacity of an image, obviously. So if I wanted uh, for example, on the desktop version, if I wanted a lighter opacity here, I could lower it down and then that color behind, in this case, the white is going to show through. I could change that to something else if I wanted as well. And that is how that works. Uh, and down here, you can choose between color and gradient as well. And your fill option here works the exact same way. If I wanted to differentiate things between mobile and desktop, I just click on fill to break it out. And then I can change it between mobile and desktop design. If I do decide to change it, for instance, I want desktop to be white and mobile to stay this blue, then once I've selected it, I want to leave it exactly like that because if I click fill again, it's going to force me to merge using either mobile or desktop. So if you do want them separate for either canvas backgrounds or your fill, make sure to leave it broken out so you see both tabs just like this. So that is how it works now. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact our support in the lower right corner of Show It anytime. We're happy to help. Have a great day. Bye-bye.